Get ready for a journey into the world of a 1955 film that's filled with funny, shocking, and sad moments. East of Eden, based on John Steinbeck's novel, brings to life a tale of family drama and moral struggles set in California. With a cast of memorable characters, including Cal, Aaron, and their father Adam, the movie explores themes of love, betrayal, and redemption. One of the standout roles in the movie is that of Cal, played by James Dean. His performance as the troubled son trying to win his father's love is unforgettable, but there are many other characters and moments that will leave you thinking long after the credits roll. What makes East of Eden enduring? It's the timeless themes and relatable characters that continue to resonate with audiences today. Whether you're watching it for the first time or the hundredth, there's always something new to discover. What's your favorite role in the movie? And what memories do you have of watching East of Eden? Share your stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So keep watching for more interesting facts and insights about this classic film. You won't want to miss a moment. In 1955, a remarkable film emerged, captivating audiences with its heartfelt story and rich characters. Imagine the tale of family dynamics, love, and the struggles of finding oneself. Directed by Elia Kazan, this movie brought to life John Steinbeck's novel about the Trask family in post-World War I America. In the world of 1950s cinema, this film stood out for its compelling narrative and the exceptional performances of its actors. It wasn't just a movie, it was a journey into the lives of its characters and their challenges. The significance of this film lies in its exploration of universal themes like love, jealousy, and identity. It resonated deeply with viewers, reflecting the complexities of human nature. As the story unfolded, audiences found themselves drawn into the characters' lives, forging a connection that lasted beyond the closing credits. This film became more than just a cinematic experience. It became a beloved piece of storytelling that continues to be remembered and celebrated. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of this timeless film, a piece of storytelling that has left its mark on the world of cinema. Warner initially wasn't sure about casting Julie Harris because she was older. But he changed his mind when he saw how talented she was. Aaliyah Kazan, in his autobiography, was thankful to have her on set. He said she helped James Dean stay calm. Kazan thought she was great at acting, and as a person saying she made her role feel real. Joe Van Fleet, who's from California like many other actresses who've won Oscars, was also in the movie. Their acting together made the story even more emotional and interesting. The director picked a great group of actors, which helped make the movie a classic that people still love today. James Dean's performance in the movie was a revelation for audiences. He displayed raw emotion on screen, a departure from conventional male acting at the time. Despite this, critics were indifferent, some even panning his performance as overacting. If he had lived to see the release of his next film, Rebel Without a Cause, critics might have been even more critical. Released shortly after his death, Rebel Without a Cause served as a eulogy to his brief moment in the Hollywood spotlight. Joe Van Fleet, born into a family of two daughters, had a sister named Kareem Van Fleet Malich Sapiani. As James Dean's movie career soared in 1954, he also pursued auto racing. His interest led him to own multiple vehicles, including a Triumph motorcycle and a Porsche 356 Super Speedster. He began racing, achieving notable success, but tragedy struck during a race event. Dean's fatal car accident on September 30, 1955 shocked the world, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate audiences today. In the pivotal scene, tension escalated between Cal and his father, portrayed by Massey. The director, Kazan, wasn't happy with Massey's acting, so he quietly gave Dean some tips. When Dean returned, he changed the Bible lines to include offensive words, which made Massey really mad. This unexpected drama led to Massey leaving the set and threatening legal action. The conflict between the actors matched the emotions of their characters, making the scene even more intense. Despite the chaos behind the scenes, the final movie showed the talent and hard work of everyone involved. Set against the backdrop of allegory for Cain and Abel, the story unfolds with her characters Aaron and Caleb echoing the biblical narrative. The metaphorical landscape of Monterey and Selena's represents the Garden of Eden and the sinful land beyond. Kate embodies the essence of Eve, symbolizing the rejection of purity. Burl Ives, having retired officially on his 80th birthday, continued occasional performances until 1993. Julie Harris, nominated for 10 Tony Awards, triumphed in five, notably in 1952 for I Am a Camera and in 1977 for The Bell of Amherst. Her sixth Tony, a tribute to lifetime achievement, was awarded in 22. 
Such nuanced performances and symbolic depth enrich the timeless narrative of the film. Connections among actors often shape the stories we see on screen. Take, for example, the roles shared by Raymond Massey and Charlton Heston. They both played characters like Sherlock Holmes, Cardinal Richley, and Abraham Lincoln. Massey even portrayed Lincoln in several movies. Joe Van Fleet, another actor in a 1955 film, was part of an acting group with James Dean and Julie Harris. She credited her success partly to Ilya Kazan. Earl Ives, whose family hailed from the Midwest, had grandparents from Indiana and Illinois. These ties show how actors' backgrounds influenced their work together. In his early career, James Dean showed his talent in the Broadway play See the Jaguar, which didn't last long, but still let people see how good he was. He grew up around farm animals and really liked them. He even got a Siamese kitten named Marcus from Elizabeth Taylor, showing how much he loved animals. Richard Davalos, who was in the movie, is the dad of Dominique Davalos and Elisa Davalos with his wife Ellen. Knowing about his family helps us understand why he was part of the film. These details give us a peek into the lives of important people in the movie, helping us understand them better. Julie Harris, known for her role in East of Eden, played a significant part in shaping the career of her future co-star Joan Van Ark. When Van Ark was a student reporter at the age of 15, Harris, the youngest student to attend Yale School of Drama on a scholarship, was interviewed by her. Harris later recommended Van Ark to join the Yale School of Drama. Elia Kazan, the director of East of Eden, felt a personal connection to the character of Cal. In an interview years later, Kaosan revealed that he saw himself in the role of Cal, stating that the image of the boy was very clear to him because he knew a boy like that, essentially referring to himself. During filming, Elia Kazan had to meticulously coordinate the bean field scene with a local farmer to ensure that the crop would be precisely three inches high when shooting began. The sprouts, actually mustard plants, had to be replanted every five minutes to prevent wilting and discoloration under the studio lights. A classic movie from the mid-20th century has left a lasting mark on both audiences and actors. One such actor inspired by the film was Nicolas Cage, who shared that his passion for acting was ignited by his admiration for James Dean's performance. Directed by Elia Kazan, this movie earned Kazan his only Best Director nomination for a non-Best Picture nominated film. Another individual, Earl Hodgins, played a significant role in the film industry during that time. He provided narration for Warner Brothers trailers, lending his voice to generate excitement for many classic films, including the one we're discussing. These stories highlight the behind-the-scenes talent and the profound influence this movie had on its viewers and aspiring actors alike. It's fascinating to see how one piece of art can inspire creativity and passion in others.